five shooters each. Best of five wins it. Welcome back to Dick Delesk Soccer Stadium. Andrew Caridi and Liam Bellin with you. West Virginia one, Virginia Tech one, and we are moments away from the most nervy moments you can possibly face. A trip to the Sweet 16 on the line, and the first shooter for Virginia Tech is Sievert Haugley against Steven Tekeski, the fifth year senior. So the Hokies shoot first, it's Haugley. And he sends Tekeski the wrong way, that's an excellent penalty into the top corner. And Virginia Tech able to get number one in the back of the net. Ryan Crooks now steps up for the Mountaineers. As you see our screen there. So Crooks steps to the spot. Beats the goaltender Martino who went the right way. But it's 1-1 and you can say what you want. Martino was there, but the penalty was better, Liam. Yeah, it sure was. A great ball to the bottom left corner there from Crooks. Looks like Martino might have gotten a piece of it, but or had a chance to get a piece of it, but just driven too hard. Martino has the advantage at 6-6. Six, six. Steven Tekeski at 5-10. One opportunity each for both teams, and they've both converted. Here's the grad student, Paul Manels from Barcelona, Spain. And he strokes it. Two excellent penalties from Virginia Tech. The first for Sievert Haugley and then Monell's an unstoppable shot into the top corner. Yeah, that's clinical there. Just picking out the top right corner. You have no chance at saving that one if you're Steven Dikeski. Dion Dromers likely has the best shot on this entire West Virginia team. And he approaches quickly. Dromers, no doubt. 2-2. Two, two. Yeah, he was cool, calm, and collected about that one. Like you said, one of the best strikers of the ball on this team that showed from the free kick earlier where he crushed the crossbar, and right there, he drives that one, makes no doubt about it. And the redshirt junior able to bury it, and here comes the goal scorer for Virginia Tech, Jacob Labovitz, the senior. First team all ACC. This is his natural spot. Can he beat Tekeski? Crowd gets loud. Round three. Labovitz. Stopped by Tekeski. That's a big one there. Labovitz, he struck it really hard. It didn't have the best placement there. And Tekeski able to get over and give the Mountaineers now a huge chance at taking this one with just a big save on the, the biggest player for Virginia Tech going forward. It's Bjarn Thiessen's opportunity to give West Virginia the advantage. Great technique for the big man. He steps up and he skies it. We stay at 2-2. Tough one there for Thiessen. Just clearly drives well under it. And you know, you could, you could tell he leaned back. Just not the best technique there. Daniel Starr, the junior from Charlottesville. Against Steven Tekeski, who just saved the last penalty. Will approach. Tekeski saves again! That's incredible from Steven Tekeski. We talked about him coming back, fifth year guy for this West Virginia program. He's the type of guy that wants to make something happen in this tournament right there, outstretched. That's a great penalty and even better piece of goalkeeping there. Fantastic save. Otto Alakainen can put West Virginia ahead. And if he makes this, Virginia Tech has to make their next one. Big moment for the freshman Alakainen. And he beats the goaltender Martino. He dove the right way, but he put it under him. 
Once again, I talked about it earlier. Goalkeepers that big, it's tough for them to get down quickly. Obviously, if you're putting something high for him, you know, it's going to be easier. But that's the second time where he's chosen right, Martino, and he's done well, just not quite able to keep it out. A long, long walk up for Danny Flores, the freshman from Half Moon Bay, California. The rookie steps up against the fifth year. A roll of the dice. Tekeski has made the last two stops. Virginia Tech season on the line. It is Flores. And he scores. And that's cool. Coleman collected a very good penalty there. Sends Tekeski the wrong way and ends up burying it. Pau Jimenez Albalda to send West Virginia to the Sweet 16. Scored a penalty against Elon here at home a few games ago. Game on his foot. And the Mountaineers are moving on. Pau Jimenez Albalda. And there it is, Palman has about another one of the fifth year guys that we talked about. You get those contributions in the penalty kicks from Jimenez Albauda, Steven Tikeski. Fantastic work. That penalty, absolutely clinical. No one is saving that one. And the Mountaineers go home happy. You see the crowd there. They're enjoying it. Everyone here at Dick Delesk uh, in euphoria. Game finishes 1 1, 4 3 to the Mountaineers in overtime. An undeniable, unstoppable, perfect penalty from the Little Magician. A laser, no nerves, no doubt. And head coach Dan Stratford in year two. And the rest of his West Virginia group are moving on to the Sweet 16. An instant classic from Dick Delesk Soccer Stadium. The number 11 seed West Virginia Mountaineers drop Virginia Tech in Coach Stratford's first bid in NCAA tournament play at the Division I level. For Liam Bellin, I'm Andrew Caridi. We'll see you soon, and we'll leave it to the Dick Delesque faithful. Country Roads is queued up, and we will see you very soon as West Virginia advancing and will be in action yet again. The season stays alive. All events airing on ESPN Plus are streaming live and archived on the ESPN app. This has been a presentation of ESPN.